What's going on guys, Sean Gautier back with another video. I'm gonna take you inside the shop. It's been a couple months since we opened. Give you guys an update and see where we're at today. All right guys, so first thing you can see guys, we added two chairs here at the front. Uh, we just got the floor mats in, so they are laying out so they can kind of flatten out. They come in rolled up in a box, so it's kind of hard to put them out flat. Um, so this front chair is not me anymore. Uh, and then we have a second chair over here. So these will be two new guys they actually just tested and they should be in here hopefully tomorrow or the next day. So I went ahead and moved all the way back to the third chair guys. So here is my station, basically in the middle. We got three behind me two in front of me. And uh, we rearranged a little bit. We moved somebody to the back station back there because if we had put them up front, we would have lost both of our benches up front for waiting area. So we kept our benches. Uh, we do have a new cooler here, guys. This is a Alani new cooler. It is a energy drink. They're gonna rewrap it for us with the logo on it as far as I know. Uh, and then we will have a Coke machine in the corner. So other than that, guys, we did hang these sound panels. You guys can see these large black panels between the TVs. Those are acoustic panels, so I don't know if you guys can tell by the video, but it was very, very echoey in here. And so these greatly helped. I am gonna buy some five by five panels and run them through the middle of the ceiling and kind of give us a false ceiling and a little bit of sound deadening there as well. So anyway, I know you guys see the sign on the back, guys. This is a 10 foot clutch sign. These are just LED lights behind it like you would put on the back of your TV. The sign is on corrugated plastic, which is basically what you see uh, a yard sign made out of. I'm just gonna get close so you guys can see. So it is just some plastic, a little flimsy, and you guys can see the LEDs on the back. So kind of something I made up. My sign people made it and I stuck the lights on the back. Uh, but you guys can see, nice accent for the back wall. Of course, we do have some artwork hanging out there. DW's Bruce Lee. Markel's got some stuff on his. There's a Jordan print. I, I got all my certificates and newspaper stuff up and my favorite Batman print. A little bit more up here. Uh, and then guys, you guys have seen this in the old shop. This is the Clutch 16, the year that we opened. That's a Hawks jersey. That's where our colors came from. That is the state of Kentucky and the scissors is where we're located at. And my favorite, the Easy e by my man, Aaron Kaiser, that I actually got to help paint. So anyway, guys, that is the shop as of now. I am going to get everything else turned on, get the TVs turned on. I got to film a little unboxing this morning and then we're gonna wire up these lights. Guys, these are the lights that go above the station. So I'm gonna actually walk you guys through that step by step, where they're from, how much they cost, how to hook these extension cords up and get them to where you can plug them in and have lights like we all have on our station. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get to it. Hope you guys take something away from this video. Let's get on with the day. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to wire these lights. These are the lights that are on my station above and below the mirror. I get asked a lot where they're from and how to do them, so I'm gonna show you guys how to wire them up, how to mount them. That way you guys can do it in your own shop. So guys, these are just four foot LED light bars from Lowe's. I'm sure you can get them at Home Depot or Menards. I'm not sure what uh, home improvement stores you guys have, but basically any home improvement store, guys, is just a four foot LED. They also have 
double bulb, four foot LED, so double wide. This is just a single. They also have two foot, three foot. So really just depending on what size you're trying to put up, you can get different size bulbs. So I'm going to go ahead and open all these and I'll show you guys how to wire them. All right guys, so you can see four foot LED bar, no cords. We're gonna set up the cords ourselves. And very important guys, I use a 15 foot extension cord. This is gonna give us enough length. We are gonna cut the end off, this end that you would normally plug something into. We're gonna cut this off, we're gonna hardwire it um, to the cord. I'll be able to plug this cord in to my power strip. And when I turn my station off at the end of the day, it will turn the lights off. So very important guys that you have enough cord and I'll show you guys kind of how I justify how I'm gonna measure that. We're gonna go ahead and open these up, cut the end off, and I'll start wiring. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this end off. I'll come all the way to the end of the plug and cut off that. We're not gonna be plugging anything into this. We're gonna wire this straight into the lights. And if you guys have these at a new shop and you wanna wire these into the wall, like the rest of your lights on a light switch, these are capable of that. This is just how I've always done it. Kinda easy, you can move them around, you can plug them in, like I said, to a power strip and turn them off just as easy. All right guys, we're gonna do two lights for each station, so I'm gonna go ahead and take two of these out of the way. And we're gonna start wiring them. So basically guys, if you see along this, this top piece snapped over top. So I'm just gonna start prying this off. Might wanna use a screwdriver so you don't uh, rip off your fingernails. Uh, yeah, that's a little tight. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. All right guys, so we got a little flat head. Basically, I'm just gonna work it. See, once you get two of these guys, they'll come apart. Go ahead and do the second one and then we'll wire them up. All right guys, so this cord basically has a green, a black, and a white. And if you look inside here, there's a green wire. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out. And we have a black and a white right here. So, most of them are on this end, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my green over to this end, get them all together, and then we'll wire them. So same thing on this one. All right guys, so now there are holes in the back of these, and I'm gonna put it on the end where the cords are. So there's a hole right here that's basically already cut out, and we just have to punch it out. So I'm just gonna take my screwdriver very carefully. Boom. Now you guys can see, we have a hole to feed our cords now. All right guys, so for the cord, one light is gonna be above the mirror, one light is below the mirror. So the mirrors are three feet long. So I'm basically gonna take my cord into this light, all the way to where these wires are. And this has been folded up, you guys can see. This is basically like a foot. So I'm gonna do, to the end is that much, and then I'm gonna do three bends. One, two, three. And then into the next line, to the next pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. Just cut it in half. Now don't let this confuse you guys. The power is gonna come in to the bottom line. So the cord with the plug on it, we're gonna do first. It is gonna come into this light, connect to these wires. This other piece that we have is gonna connect to these wires as well, go back out the end into our other light. So if you guys have never used some uh, wire strippers. We're gonna lightly cut this black cover all the way around, pull it off. Now we have our wires. And these are 16 gauge, so you guys just find the 16 right here on the wire crimpers. And we will go ahead and put it in there. And you guys see it, it strips the wire. So we'll do that to all of our wires. So now I have all the wires installed. So guys, I'm actually gonna cut a little more of that black off so I have some wiggle room to move my wires around. So you guys can see we've got our black, white, and green exposed. On this cord, we have a plug on the other end, so we're just gonna set that to the side. We'll go ahead and do our other cord the same exact way. Cut the black off and then strip the wires. Again, this is gonna meet the power from the first light and also from the plug. And the other end is gonna go to the other light. So same thing on this end. All right guys, so now we have them all done. I'm gonna run the two ends. Remember the first light, power, 
into the light, connects it to the same thing, out of the light to the other light. So both of these are gonna go in the hole that we go through. I'm basically just gonna pull them enough to get them to my wires right here. I'm gonna go ahead and match on these two. I'm gonna go ahead and match the colors together. You guys just wanna kind of twist the wires. And keep in mind guys, nothing is plugged in right now. So very important, if these were plugged into the wall, I'd be lighting myself up right now. So, all right guys, so now we're gonna match black to black, green to green, white to white. So I'll just put them together. And I'm just gonna twist them together. Move my white out of the way, bring my green in. You guys see, I'll bend them away from each other so that they're not really touching. Okay, so we have all three tied together. Now we're gonna tie them to the ones on the light. The lights do come with these caps, and guys, these caps just twist on and they will secure the wires together. So, like I said, we will match color to color. So here's green. Go ahead and twist it together. Take our cat, we're just gonna thread the cat onto the wires. And it should snug down. Yep, so that's on there. Now we just match black to black and white to white. Now without pulling our wires out, guys, I'm gonna take the ones in the light. Go ahead and fold them down. Pull these black ones out slightly. Give myself room to tuck all this in. And I can put the cover back on. Make sure all your wires are tucked in nice and clean. We'll just start on this end. Remember guys, this light's done, it has power going into it and a cord coming out, and now we just have to connect the cord coming out to the other light. Same thing, in this end. And connect these two. Now guys, we only have one cord on this end, so we're just gonna connect one green to one green, one white to one white, and one black to one black, and we're done. Same thing, take our orange caps. Super easy guys, just make sure your colors match, make sure it's not plugged in, and you should be good to go. We'll check those and they're good, so now we'll tuck this in. Now we'll plug our plug in and see if it works. There you go guys, easy as that. So these are good guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wire these other two, and then I'll show you how we hang them up. Okay, so the lights are gonna hang on these skinny parts of these holes. So I'm gonna take a piece of masking tape, lay it along the whole thing, mark these holes, then I'll take the masking tape on the wall. It'll have the perfect holes, be the length of the light, and then we'll just drill the holes and hang them up. All right, that's it, y'all. I hope the video was helpful. I hope those lights help. Uh, like I said, you guys grab them at Lowe's. Watch this video a couple times to show you how to put them together. But anyways, smash that like button if this video was helpful for you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the new shop. Oh, finished. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm gonna drop some more tips, videos like this. I'll catch you guys next time.